All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rekaha Kodash. And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world uh, ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior, he is the Deliverer. Bahashem in the name, Raka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to the apostles, the bishops, elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and taught me this truth, and peace and salutations to the Bayaf that would die. That's the house of David, the elect that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity, and Shalom to the Akiyam Wa'ath Wa'ath. Uh, peace to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is the brother Taza War Bond Aparin from the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson through the spirit. And I pray everything's edifying. And, you know, hey, again, it, it sounds redundant, but hey, a prophet constantly got to measure the time diligently, uh, uh, give warning to the house of Israel, you know. And, and and be a watchman, you know, to give warning and tell you about the times that are ahead. The Lord left these signs, these wonders, these clues that are at the end times. And, and we're one step closer to major prophecies being fulfilled. You know, we know that Jacob's trouble has to be fulfilled. The MOTB, which is the Karagma, which is the, the, the microchip, has to be made mandatory. And ultimately, Arrows being shot from one end to the earth, you know, thermonuclear missiles and, and destroy Babylon through World War Three. You know, this is all biblical prophecy. The destruction of Babylon, the great a.k.a. America, is the removal and power of Esau Edom, the so-called white race. You know, their, their heaven, their world. So the end of the world is Esau Edom's rulership. You know, and Babylon is a big, major prophecy that's going to take place, you know, before the coming of our Lord and Savior, man. You know, so we know we've been telling you again, starting from our apostles, you know, and our elders and bishops and brothers on down that bad times are coming. Wars, rumors of wars, wars and commotions, you know, plagues on the earth, uh, famines, pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, you know. All these things must come to pass. You know, we're in the beginning of it. We're in the beginning of sorrows, man. You know, and war is prevalent. War is inevitable. We're in a time of war, a time of hate. There's not a time of peace or a time of, of love that's brewing in the airs, man. The spirit on this world is tension. There's conflict. There's hate and there's war, man. So it, it behooves you to take heed to, to these warnings, because ultimately this is the warning from Yahweh Bashem Awashah. The Lord do nothing but reveal his secrets amongst his servants, the prophets, and the prophets have to speak his words of prophecy. So let's get it real quick. Second uh, Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I'll put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See, so we're speaking the words of prophecy, you know. To the, to the ears of the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, you are Yahweh's chosen people. And our, our, our reasonable service, our duty is to uh, prophesy, speak the words from Yahweh Bashim al Shai. He was going to put his words in our mouths, man. You know, and we don't care about you non-believers, you scoffers, you know, you scorners, you naysayers. Those that was once enlightened with this gospel and then switched it up and trying to change uh, uh, change the doctrine to fit their their deception and try not to warn the people about war or or, or calamity or or, or or bad times. You know, we don't care about you, Nate says. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. The Lord says he's going to bring the sword, famine, death and destruction. And one major prophecy that has to take place is World War Three. You know, again, 
It's been prophesied in the scriptures from over 2,000 plus years ago, man. And it's now coming to fruition. This is how we measure the time diligently. The Lord left these signs, these clues and wonders for us to measure the time, man. I'll get it. Uh, Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest signs, seest parts of the signs past, which thou have told thee before, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest, Yahweh, will begin to visit the world which he meant, made. Excuse me. So, yeah, these signs are, are, are indicators that the Lord is ready to bring judgment upon the earth. His judgment's now at hand, you know, and we see what's going on with these um, articles, these news events, and we filter them through the prophecies and the scriptures. And this is how we know we're in these latter days, man. You know, the Lord said many great misery. Matter of fact, I'll get it. Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So we know uh, bad times is coming. Evil, misery, grief, sorrows, tribulation shall dwell in the world. You know, in the latter time, in these end times, man. So we're not here to give you a false vision or false hope about love, peace, and happiness. Ultimately, we want you to, to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and repent. Ultimately, the elect will will uh, repent, seek Yahweh Bashem Yahushai ten times more, and, and be delivered from, from, from the judgment. But those that don't believe, as I read in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, you know, we don't care about your non-belief, your naysayers, your doubt, you know, it's going to happen. And you're going to die once the Lord brings these uh, plagues if, if, if you do not repent, if you don't take heed to the, the warnings of the prophets, man. But again, we're not in the time of love, peace, and happiness. Again, Ecclesiastes, I'll get three and one. To everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. And here's the point. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time of war, and a time of peace. So if you're measuring the time diligently in itself, if you're being circumspect, if you're occupied in prophecy, you can uh, understand that we're not in a time of love and peace. We're in a time of hate, tension, war, and, 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 and evil brewing, you know? So it behooves you to understand and the, what the will of the Lord is, man. To be circumspect, you know? To be wise. Don't be counted as a fool, you know, not knowing what time we're living in, man. You know, and I'll get that. And I'm going to get into the article. I'm just, you know, you know, going through the spirit. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. And it reads, uh, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Evil is bad times, man. You know, you got to walk circumspectly. Know your surroundings. Keep your head on the swivel. Also, know what's going on throughout the world, man. What's happening that's, you know, in the east. Because ultimately, anything that happens out the four corners of the earth is going to lead to a domino effect here in America or lead to a domino effect at any location where you're at, man. Tension is brewing throughout the world, man. Again, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See, so you have to understand that this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Again, let me get it because uh, I quoted earlier. Matthew 24 and 3. And then we'll get into this article. Uh, Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying that I am anointed and shall deceive many. Here's the point. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these 
are the beginning of sorrow. See, so these are signs that Yahweh Shai left the disciples and they were inquiring urgently, like, is this the time of the sign of thy coming? Is this the end of Esau's rulership, the end of the world? You know, again, end of Esau's heaven. They were inquiring. But, you know, the Lord said no. You know, ultimately, he, he left for these signs for this go around, you know, wars, rumors of wars. Uh, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. This is for this go around, you know. We at the end times now, you know. And and everything that's happening when you see these signs, it's it's coming rapidly. It's coming in a, a tense, a tense uh, a, a rate, man. It's constantly been earthquakes in diverse places, where uh, famines and pestilence, uh, storm and tempest, you know. Uh, 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 sightings of the signs of the in the sun or in the moon or in the in the heavens, more chariots being revealed, which are what the world called UFOs. We know them as the chariots of the Most High. There, there's more sightings of that, you know. The rising of of Israel. There's more Israelites waking up. Kwam Yasharala, you know, that's part of the end times. It says, once the elect are sealed, then the end shall come. You know, or once this gospel shall be preached throughout the end of the world. Uh, throughout the four corners of the earth And then the end shall come You know these are parts of the signs And ultimately wars and rumors of wars So I got from this um, article um, The source is endtimeheadlines.org And the heading reads Multiple rockets have been fired from Iraq Towards US military base in Syria See so it's, we've been prophesying Again starting from our apostles And bishops and elders and brothers on down That this upcoming war is going to be war shot with nuclear missiles, man. ICBMs, man. And this is going to be the war to end all wars. And it's been prophesied in the scriptures. We didn't come up with this through our own vain thoughts and opinions. This has all been prophesied. And now we're in these latter times. It says in Matthew, bless us your eyes because you can see and blesses your ears so you can hear these things, man. We can see that the vision is, is yet for an appointed time. And we can see it brewing, man. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, it will not, it shall surely come, it will not tarry. And that's Habakkuk, or Habakkuk, you know. It's not tarrying. It seemed like it's taking a while, but things is also speeding up. And we know that the scripture says that the Lord has to speed these things uh, uh, for the elect's sake, man. So, World War III is inevitable, man. And we're in the brinks of it, you know. We're in the beginnings of uh, uh, this upcoming war. So again, multiple rockets have been fired from Iraq towards U.S. military base in Syria. At least five rockets were launched from Iraq's town of Zumar toward the U a U.S. military base in northeastern Syria on Sunday. Two Iraqi soldiers told sources told uh, routers the attack against U.S. forces is the first since early February when Iran-backed groups in Iraq stopped their attacks against U.S. troops. So it shows you this this tension, this tension brewing. And mainly it's the East having that common enemy, you know, it, it, the common enemy is in the West here in America, man. You know, you have Iraq, you have Iran, you have North Korea, you're going to have uh, uh, Russia, you know. This is all brewing. They all have a common enemy and they ultimately, the Lord is going to put the spirit in these kings and militaries to ultimately shoot at the, uh, the hammer of the whole earth, which is uh, Babylon the Great. Which is in the scriptures, uh, aka America, man. So, so and, hey, and this is going to lead to the destruction of Babylon. In Revelations, John the Revelator seen, and, and many prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, uh, uh, Malachi, you know, Ezra's, and John the Revelator, just to name of, just a few prophets, seen the destruction of Babylon the Great, man. And it's coming. This is, we're one step closer to it. Uh, the attack comes one day after Iraq Prime Minister Mohammed Shah al Sadani returned from a visit to the United States and met with Joe Biden at the White House. Two security sources and my senior army officer said a rocket launcher fixed on the back of a small truck had been parked in Zumar border, border town with Syria. The military official said the truck caught fire with an explosion from unfired rockets at the same time as warplanes in the sky. We can't confirm that U.S. warplanes bombed the truck unless we investigate it. And a military official on condition of amenity because of the sensitivity of the incident. So regardless, hey, 
this is World War Three, man. It's brewing. Where where there's 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 pawns being moved, the stage is being set, there's pieces on the board uh, that 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 ultimately the Lord is controlling uh, both sides. He's controlling the kings to fulfill His will, man. You know, ultimately for that checkmate, which is Babylon being utterly destroyed, Esau, Edom's main power. Uh, 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 the the hammer, you know, the military forces being removed off the off off uh, uh, off the earth, man. And ultimately, the Lord's coming back. Yahweh Shai to to He's coming to remove all the crowns and power structures from all these militaries and people in high places, man. You know, the Lord is setting these other nations in the Valley of Yahweh Shapat, which is in the Middle East, uh, the Most High's judgment to, for war. It says it in Joel. Joel the third chapter three and nine and it reads, uh, proclaim me this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruner hooks into spears, let the weak say I am strong. So, hey, the Lord is putting in, in these kings heart, you know, to be the mighty men to be to wake up and be prepared for war. You know, they're beating their plowshares and pruner hooks into swords and spears. You know, plowshares and pruner hooks are agricultural farming tools, man. And now it's it's symbolic for them to invest in uh, uh, heavy artillery, military weapons, ICBM missiles. Let the weak say I am strong. Now it's an even playing field because ultimately these other nations that were bullied uh, decades in, uh, 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 by the American military now have... Uh, uh, ICBM missiles that could that could wipe out uh, uh, America within minutes. So now they the, the weak nations that's you know now can poke out their chest and stand with boldness against the the big bad bully man, the hammer of the whole earth. And ultimately, this is the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. And we're hey, we, we're giving you warning man, uh, you know, week in and week out, lesson after lesson. Uh, Revelations 11 verse 14 The second woe is past And behold the third woe cometh quickly There it is man World War 1, World War 2 Is past man But behold the third world war The third woe cometh quickly man And we're on the brinks of it man We re uh, read earlier in Ecclesiastes We're in a time of war A time of hate And we're not in a time of peace man so it behooves you to get right and repent, man, because this is the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai to ultimately stir up uh, uh, these nations and militaries to get prepared for war, man. And ultimately, it's going to lead to the destruction of America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, man. You know, and this war is going to be fought by thermonuclear missiles. Uh, Isaiah uh, 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this upcoming battle, this woe, this world war, this upcoming war is going to be fought by burning and fuel of fire. And these prophets, again, seen arrows being shot from one end to the earth, man. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. Those are the arrows that the prophets seen uh, over 2,000 plus years ago, man. And it's coming to fruition. Again, we are, we can see it now. You know, the Lord revealeth his secrets, man, to his servants, the prophets. And we're here prophesying the downfall of Esau, Edom's rulership or his heaven. And America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed uh, as the effects of this upcoming war, man. So it behooves you to get right and repent, man. There's many scriptures. You know, I can continue on. I do have to get back to, to you know, to work. But it just shows you that we're in the we're in the brinks of World War Three, man. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's time for you to take heed to these warnings, man, and get right and repent. You do not want to be caught as a thief in the night, man. You know, when all hell break loose. But prior to the missiles being shot for out of them silos, silos, because the Lord's gonna ultimately control them, control these rulers and kings to press the button. And ultimately have his spirit guiding these missiles and arrows, you know, it's going to be chaos prior to World War Three. Actually, you know, missiles being shot, you know, and it's going to be civil unrest, martial law, you know, famines, pestilence, you know, uh, seditions, insurrections, beheadings, great death is coming. Evil, bad times, man. The MOTB being made mandatory. 
loss of farming, crops. You know, there's going to be uh, famines because of that. So it behooves you if you do not have Yahweh Bashem Yahweh as your savior or as your, uh, you don't have faith in him to, you know, that he will protect you and have, uh, as a hedge uh, for protection when all hell breaks loose. You're going to be utterly destroyed when the Lord brings these plagues, man. So it behooves you to get right and repent before the evil days draw nigh, man. So with that, man, I pray everything was edifying. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakat Kodash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to the Bayaf that would die, the house of David, the elect. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.